Hi, this is Rabbi Daniel Rabin, Rabbi of the Northeastern Jewish Center. Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, in our portion this week of Yitro, we are told how he's standing for hours on end, answering questions and queries of the Jewish community, whether it be on matters of Jewish law or other matters. His father-in-law Yitro comes to visit him and he sees what's occurring and he says, Moses, this is not good. Don't be afraid. Go and ask for help. Get other leaders. Get, you know, make junior leaders to help with the query so it's not all on your head. And Moses, in fact, listens. He asks for help. And we see that it obviously solves a tremendous burden that was on his shoulders and on the community waiting for hours. But I think this message of not being afraid to ask for help is so important in the climate that we're, we're in at the moment. Those of you who are watching the Royal Commission into the Child Sexual Abuse in the Jewish Community and have been able to read or listen to the testimonies of those who have suffered at the hands of child sexual abuse can only feel so pained and hurt it, that, that this has occurred to these people. It is so sad to read what they had to go through. But what's equally painful is to hear that they, many of them were afraid to come and get help. They were afraid to go to the authorities for help because they were afraid they would be bullied, vilified by those in power, by those in the community who may say, why did you go to the authorities? And I think now is the time to make it abundantly and loudly clear that if someone needs help, they must not be afraid to go for that help. Anyone in a position of power, whether it be a rabbi, a community leader, or anyone for that matter, needs to make it loud and clear that if someone needs help, whether they've suffered sexual abuse or any other abuse, they must go to the authorities and they must not be afraid that by going to get the help, that someone in the community will say something negative, bully, vilify, not even an inkling that if they did this and go get help, that there'd be a negative consequence. On the contrary, the leaders must ensure that they support, protect and encourage those who need the help to go to the, the help that they need to go to the authorities, the police for the help. They must not be afraid. And therefore, I thank all those who went forward, who stood there in the face of being afraid, of being vilified and bullied, and yet still went to the authorities and still were brave enough to bring this matter to the forefront. We thank you, because what you have done by going forward and reporting these things, you've protected thousands and thousands of children for the generations to come. Let's make it clear. That's why I'm sitting here in my office today, to make it clear I'm not out in the town and in the more informal format. But the message needs to be clear. No two ways about it. If someone needs help, get the help, go to the authorities, and don't be afraid. Please, God, we don't hear any more suffering in the future to come. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom. See you next week.